thing to do with me, so I had my cats, and I'm like, Oh, you look so good. I don't have a hat. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, yeah. You want he wants to hug. <laughs> <laughs> okay. no, no problem. Here. As you can see in that video, we have Ronald Toy doing exactly what they're all accusing VM of. They're accusing VM of going in and giving a hug to someone and they're like without their consent first as well, as you can see in the video, which I'm going to continuously keep playing by here for people. And if you watch it, Monica literally, she looks a little bit dumbstruck a little bit like because she oh he wants a hug okay and she moves to the side and he jumps in hugs them both even the guy who person holding a camera you can see in ron's face he's like Ugh. and yeah literally if someone tried doing that to me i you know it's like what the hell are you doing dude i don't even know you and if it was monica you know who asked for a hug it'd be completely different to that person because that person is there to see Monica. She's not there to see Ron. Ron has nothing to do with the voice acting community or even anime in general. Just because he is engaged to a well-known voice actor as well. I would say well-known, but the majority of people know VM more than Monica and all them. And the way he, she shuffles off to the side and the look on her face, it's almost like, what the hell is he doing? But that's what Ron is like. And... <coughs> to see that he's done exactly what he's accused VM of doing, hugging people without consent, and he just does it, you know, he doesn't say, can I have a hug, or oh, do you mind if I hug you, you know, whatever, he just says, out the way, Monica, I'm giving her a hug, and she goes, oh, he, he wants a hug, okay, and she goes out the way, and he just jumps in, and it's interesting we haven't got the full video, because I would like to see the reaction of the girl with the cool Dragon Ball Z hat on. I would love to see what her reaction is to uh, hugging him. Because, you know, when he hugs her, he kind of, a quick hug comes back, and you could hear someone like, oh, okay. Yeah, you no, know, she actually says, okay, you know, actually, let's play it again and listen. You look so good, I don't have a hat. Oh my God, oh yeah, yeah, you want to hug? He wants to hug. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. No problem. No problem. Here. Yeah, she kind of says, oh, okay. And, you know, it's like, oh, I have to because he's coming in. So, oh, okay, I'll hug you. Yeah, bye. And it's interesting to see that. But it's also going to be interesting to see how all the KV react to this video. Because, again, they think they can say stuff. They can make up stuff, say whatever. Oh, this happened here, this happened there. And no one's going to go looking for it. I have said that continuously now for the last year and a couple of months. Because... Everything they've said, oh, this happened here. Everyone has gone in and investigated. Perfect example, that story that came out a couple of months ago regarding VM and, oh, he done this, he threw his, he threw his fries on the floor like we were some kind of dogs. But then we saw a post from that person saying, oh, no, he came in, he asked a few people if they wanted to help him. And it's like, first of all, you contradict your own story. Secondly... Where you said it happened, they weren't at the Marriott Hotel. Thirdly, the years you specify, he wasn't even there. So, when you get that sort of thing, and then that person constantly changes their story, like we have seen with Monica, Jamie, all these people, and now with seeing this video of Ron hugging someone without consent, which, according to everyone on KV, is literally grounds for uh, going to prison and being called the P-word for the rest of your life because that's exactly what you're doing. You're hugging people, you're doing this. How dare you do that? That's, you know, SA and all this kind of thing. And it's interesting because I can see for a fact that from now on, this video is going to be played and you are going to get people like BT and everyone else saying, oh, no, she wanted the hug. She wanted this. Oh, no, they, no, 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 he's, that's wrong. Because... When videos come out of the people that they're defending doing the exact same thing that they're against for someone else, they literally poo the bed and the way that they try and do damage control is beyond funny. We've seen it with BT, you know, over the last couple of months, he's been trying to defend certain things and everyone's like, actually, no, this happened, 
here's video footage, here's photos, and here's the actual person involved. And they still let you go, oh, no, that's wrong. So it's even if they speak to the actual person who was involved, they still don't believe them. That's how bad and literally living in their little own reality that they are. You know, they're living in their own little bubble. And with all that, I'd probably say the perfect example over the last couple of days regarding that sort of thing is the issue with Stan, uh, like I said, Stan Dallin. He's been involved in a thread where he's talking against KV and some people are saying, oh, well, Stan said this. Stan gets involved and say, no, I stand by my sworn statement. That's exactly what happened. And they come out and say, oh, yeah, whatever, you're lying. So that just goes to show what type of person they are. They can say all the things about us. Oh, well, you say the thing he's lying. You say so-and-so's lying. Well, that's because we have looked at all the documents, which, again, Monica says no one has read, which, again, is a bit stupid, but she's probably being told by people, oh, they're not reading them, they're just saying rubbish. We're not. We've read the documents. Necrocader's live streams have gone over four to five, this may sometimes even six to seven hours, where he's read the entire document. I've read the documents. Tug, Yellow Flash, everyone, SG, you know, SG Sammy, Deep Humor, everyone has read the documents. But when Monica looks at it and she's like, ah, oh, you know, she just can't accept, none of them can, that we read the documents, We've put videos out there giving our opinion. Fair enough, none of us are lawyers, apart from Nick. But we're looking at it thinking, well, this kind of goes against what Monica said in the deposition video or what she said in her sworn statement. Because what she's saying here never happened because VM wasn't there. You know, it's, it's literally like connect the dots sort of thing. But I'm still sticking with VM because there's literally nothing that's going to come of this. That's personally my own opinion. And with VM, because he's being accused of something where there's no evidence. But then when you've got people who are literally doing this cancel culture on him and saying, he deserves this, he deserves that. Why? No one knows. And when people start bringing in, oh, this photo here, or this, look at this here, this girl, oh my God, she's come out and said this. And then when we go and find that girl and we speak to him, and they're like, I haven't spoken to anyone. No, this happened, and I loved it. Then that kind of throws a lot of doubt on what people on KV say. Because that just goes to show they're willing to lie. They're willing to steal other people's property. You know, photos, whatever. And use them and say, oh my god, look how bad this girl is. She's so distraught. But then that person has to come out and make a statement saying, no, what they're saying is wrong. I love that moment. When you have things like that come out, and again, I really don't understand why the judges and the people in the courts haven't brought that forward, because that would be a big thing to see. But again, no, when you see certain things, it doesn't really happen, because it can take a lot of stuff away from what the actual cause and what the actual lawsuit is about. The actual lawsuit is about Monica... Jamie and Ron. That's what it's about at this moment in time. And obviously Funimation, because with Funimation, he, he had, Funimation hasn't said a bad thing about VM. It's just said, right, we're getting rid of them because of this happened, blah, blah, blah. That's it. Because of what they've done in an interview, supposedly, in an investigation. That's what they're looking at. But then when you got Jamie, Monica and Ron saying, he done this to me, he done that to me. Oh, and if you're Ron... I know hundreds of women who are going to come forward. Where are those hundreds of women? Still to this day. Monica even said it on the podcast recently. Oh yeah, I got receipts. I'm just going to wait to show them. Everyone has been waiting over a year for these receipts now, Monica. If you're going to show them, show them. If someone's making fun of you and you just say, actually, no, this has happened. Boom, I got evidence. They're going to be like, oh, right, okay. That's what it is. But when you go out of your way and say, oh, yeah, I haven't got anything, you know, oh, but I've I got evidence. Well, where is it? Oh, I'm going to release it in my time. No, you should have released all of this when you first got taken to court because it wouldn't have gone on as long. And again, you and Ron may be thinking, oh, 
if we let this go out, we can get tons of money. No, because all the, if anything does come of this and say VM loses the appeal, he just has to pay for what you were uh, your court costs. He hasn't got to pay you any money. But again, no, if you think that after all of this and say you do come through and the appeals don't go through, if you think that you're going to sue VM, that's not going to happen. That's not going to work because that is going to be completely messed up. 100%. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see all you wonderful people soon.